We have a busy morning. I'm gonna make some bread today with this pregnancy. My body can basically tolerate bread and that's it. And so I'm gonna try to make some homemade sourdough bread. So at least I have healthier options than just going and buying bread from the store. So I had a really rough weekend, um, Friday, starting Friday night. I don't know when this video is coming out, but Mother's Day weekend, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, where I felt just really bad. Monday, I woke up feeling a lot better, and today is Tuesday, and I'm still on my upswing, and it seems like this whole pregnancy has been kind of doing this, well, the last few weeks, where I get a couple of good days, and then it kind of like comes in waves, and so when I'm on my good days, I feel good, I have a lot more energy, and I just go to town, I do cooking, I'll do cleaning, I'll do more blog work, I do things. My husband always tells me I still need to rest during these times, but my personality is one that really likes to go, and laying in bed all day is really hard for me, and so obviously when I'm sick, I don't have any other options, but I really do like to just do things and move around and have a project going and be busy. And so when I feel good, it's for me, it feels best just to do what I can when I feel well. It's Tuesdays, which is the day we go to my grandma's house, and so we are back to going and visiting her. We're not cooking there like we were before the before the virus because we don't want to really touch too many things and still kind of stay our distance, but we're gonna go there and visit her this afternoon after nap time, and um, we started a tradition last year that once a week, me or my husband takes one child out for a special night, just one-on-one -on -one time. And sometimes that looks like going out to dinner, sometimes it's going fishing or on a walk or at the, at a park or the library. We did that a lot over the winter and just sit in the library, read books to them. But that also had to take a break during this whole crazy coronavirus. So we are starting, officially starting that back up and I am really wanting to take Sam on his night tonight. It's his turn and I really wanna take him because sometimes I feel like I don't get as much time with him. He's just a very independent guy, likes to do his own thing and so, if I'm feeling well tonight, that is the plan after grandma's for Nathan to take the other kids home. He's gonna feed them dinner here. I'm gonna prep some dinner stuff for them. They're just gonna have some chicken salad with avocado and tomatoes, homemade dressing, and some French, like a french fry salad, which I have the recipe on my blog. I'll link it below. It is absolutely delicious, but I'm gonna prep the chicken so he doesn't have to do that when he gets home. Sorry, the kids are all running around. It's just a day in the life, so here we are. But. 
Then me and Sam will go out for his special night. He has a few things in mind that he wants to do. There are still some limitations here, but there are a lot of things that are opening back up. So we might be able to actually go out and grab some dinner. And he really wants to go to Dairy Queen and get ice cream. We will see how the night goes and how I'm feeling. If I end up getting where I feel pretty icky later on, which sometimes I am better in the morning and get worse throughout the day, we'll see. I will have my husband take him, but I'm really hoping that I will feel okay to do that. So it's about 11ish, and so. I'm going to um, start making some lunch for the kids and then prep that dinner for my husband tonight, get everybody down for a nap. We just did some cleaning and so the house is put together. It's kind of a nastier day out today. It's cloudy, kind of wet, and only in the 50s, maybe 40s. I don't know, it's kind of cool. The kids have already been in and outside a few times, but I haven't been out at all. And we're just gonna finish up a th few things here this morning. And I'm gonna try to do nap time at noon today. So that gives me one hour to do lunch and clean up and get everyone down because we have a lot going on tonight. And William woke up at 5.30, I think. It was before six o'clock he came in my room. So I am hoping that he will just go down early. I know he's tired and then we can go on with our day. get a few pictures for the blog and get a couple posts scheduled for next week and then I'm gonna lay down take a little nap and then we're gonna be leaving to run to my grandma's house and for Samuel's special night So it's the next day. I completely like just forgot everything about vlogging and did not vlog anymore after um, nap time. So it just rained here. It's super nice out, but it did just rain, but now the sun came back out. So we're outside playing. Uh, we did end up, I did end up going on my special night with Samuel. We grabbed some dinner and his ice cream and just kind of hung out and it was super fun. Went to my grandma's house, all that stuff, and then came home, got the kids in bed, and then I go to bed because that's what we do lately, Because or that's what I do lately because I've just been so tired with the pregnancy and whatnot. But anyway, I never really finished out, closed the vlog, so I'm doing that here this morning. Hope you guys enjoyed following along for a day in our life, and I will see you all in the next one. Mm -hmm. 